This is Mark Picard. Cobb County's disposition of the Patrick Rogers case is an uncomfortable reminder that loose ends remain from the investigation into the murders of young Atlantans. It is particularly significant on this day. For one year ago, June 21st, 1981, the man now convicted of two of those murders, Wayne Williams, was arrested. His arrest brought to a close an investigation that seemed to progress for many months in fits and starts. A year after the first bodies were found, Atlanta formed a special task force in July of 1980 to investigate the growing number of murders. That task force grew to become one of the largest single-purpose crime-fighting efforts in American history. The community responded to the tragedy in mostly positive ways. On October 18, 1980, the first of many Saturday searches was organized. Private citizens from Atlanta and around the country chipped in with the searches, with efforts to raise money, and protecting children in the community. There was no sense of progress, only frustration, as more bodies were discovered. Then in February of 1981, it was disclosed that the state crime lab was looking at trace evidence, fibers, and animal hairs as possible links between victims and killer. It was a link that put the investigation on the right track. The bodies kept turning up with frightening regularity. On May 24, 1981, the body of Nathaniel Cater was taken from the Chattahoochee River. It was the last body found. Then a dramatic development. On June 3, 1981, the task force executed a search warrant at a house on Penelope Street in northwest Atlanta. The search, we were told, was connected with the death of Nathaniel Cater and the possibility that his body was thrown into the river from a bridge. And on June 21, 1981, after weeks of surveillance on the Penelope Street house, police arrested Wayne Bertram Williams. That fiber evidence led to his conviction on two counts of murder. His attorney, Lynn Watley, is working to overturn that conviction. His parents maintain their son's innocence. He's wondering why the real killers or suspects that they hate have not been have apprehended. He still maintains his interest and say he has never killed or harmed a person. And considering he's been confined one year ago today, he's in, he's in good spirits. Attorney Watley told reporters his investigation has uncovered some information which could have a bearing on the appeals hearing this fall. While attorney Lynn Watley continues to build Wayne Williams' appeal, Williams himself is settling into a routine inside the Fulton County Jail. He is reading, he is writing letters, and he is writing his diary. One year after his arrest, especially with these latest developments from Cobb County, there is still the feeling that Wayne Williams' story, whatever it may be, is still not complete. From the Fulton County Jail, Mark Picard, Action News.